Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to zoom footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're going to be creating something just basically like this, a quick zoom with our footage, and we're also going to be controlling the camera a little bit to change the zoom around left or right if that's what we want to accomplish. So I'm going to be showing you a quick technique and then a more in-depth technique to do this. So let's get started. First things first, you want to go ahead and grab some footage and import it into your timeline. I grabbed some footage from Envato Elements, which is a fantastic subscription-based service. Check out the link in the description below. Once you have your footage imported, we're going to go up, we're going to click on it, go up to effect controls, go down to motion, and you see you have position and scale. We will then find the place where we want to start the zoom, maybe right here. We're going to click the scale, the toggle animation button right here, and also the toggle position right here. We are then going to move forward 5, 10 frames, however quickly you want the zoom to go. The less frames, the quicker the zoom. We will then scale it up. Notice that anything past 115 to basically 125, anything really past that range, you're going to start getting substantial quality loss. So you need to make sure that that's okay for the scene that you're doing this with. A pro tip is if you use 4K footage in a 1080p composition, you can zoom in way farther without quality loss. So we want to zoom into this, this engine. So we're also going to manipulate the position right here. Make sure not to go off the edge like that. And now when the zoom happens, so let's back it up. You'll see that we do this zoom. We go in towards the back like this. So this is the easy way to do it, quick and easy. If you want to undo the zoom, what you do is you move to the place where you would like to undo it. You would click these buttons to add two keyframes, and then you move forward, for example, 10 frames here. I'm holding the shift key to go five at a time. And if we click these default reset parameters, it'll reset it back to the original. So now we have a zoom in, and then on the back side, a zoom out. So then, what about if we want to make this a little more in depth? To do that, we're going to go down to effects, and we're going to look for the transform. It's under video effects, distort, transform. We're going to drag and drop that in. What this is going to give us is the ability to actually add some shutter speed or some uh, motion blur here. The higher this number, essentially the more motion blur. We're just going to go out to 200. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to position and scale right here. We're going to move forward 10 frames, and then I'm going to scale it in to about there, and then we're going to position it over again. So it's the same thing, but watch how this is going to look a little bit smoother. There's a little bit of motion blur there. If we reduce the range of both of these a little bit to about probably three to four, you're going to see that there's that blur right on the edges as it's moving. You can see the blur happening. It makes it appear way smoother to do. Next step is we can actually go even farther into this. And if we brought these back out again, we have the ability to change the velocity of this so we can actually skew it in fun ways for example we could take if we right click on this and go to ease out it's going to actually give us a little bezel here and we can kind of have fun with this effect by moving it around so you can see that because the uh, position hasn't zoomed in we actually lose that because the position moves quicker um, so let's not adjust the position just for this right here just so you can see, it actually bounces out before it zooms in, which is a kind of a neat little effect right there. Um, and if we had some footage on behind this, it would actually look really, really cool. But instead of having it bounce out, let's make sure that we don't go beneath that line and we just sort of curve it in over here. And then what we can create is actually a little bit of a pop zoom by doing that. So let's grab this guy a little bit more here. A little hard to work over here in the workspace sometimes. Alrighty. You can see that it sort of lags at the beginning and then goes really quick. So yeah, you can play around with these and have a lot of fun. Uh, if you right click and go easy out, easy in, you can somehow sometimes create some really fun effects through that as well. As you can see, it, it goes slowly and then we get this really quick pop at the end there. So Overall, you can have a lot of fun with these effects in here. Manipulate it with the transform tool and then also add some shutter angle and your zooms will appear way better than if you just use the basics of the position and scale uh, from the clip itself. But that is how you create Zoom in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make videos on all of the Adobe products. And until next time, guys, see ya.